Uh, uh, well, uh, ha good morning. It's Uncle Lou here with your official uh, Georgia versus Missouri halftime report. And I'm warning everyone, well, I'm warning the Georgia fans now. If you're one of these mouth breathing, rainbow and unicorn, but we're 3 and 0 fans, click off of this video right now or else admit you were wrong and I was right. Uh, listen. The offense is an absolute uh, embarrassment. Hey, you four turnovers committed by Missouri in the first half. We have zero offensive touchdowns off of those turnovers. No passing game, like Uncle Lou told you. Zero sacks again uh, against Missouri. Are we still hiding it? Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. The play calling is bad. Jake Fromm looks bad. I know that makes you mad because you saw him hit a home run in the Little League World Series uh, nine years ago. But nobody cares. He looks terrible. This is why you throw the ball in week one and week two and week three, even though you're up by 40 points and quote unquote, w w why throw it if we don't have to, woo? Because then when you do have to throw it, you can't. That's why. But tell me more about his 80% completion percentage throwing nothing but four-yard car routes and swing passes. He's over. How many, how, many, how many balls is he overthrown today? Uh, throws an interception right into double coverage for no reason. Uh, throws three-yard hitch routes on third and eight. Great for that completion. Wee! Listen, this is the bottom line. Georgia's offense looks absolutely terrible and embarrassing. Embarrassing. This is the same Missouri team that gave up 500 yards passing to a winless Purdue team last year. Okay? So it's time to stop with the damn excuses and just admit that, that something has happened with Jake Fromm from last year to this year. He does not look like the same quarterback. You want to blame Cheney? Blame Cheney. You want to blame uh, pressure from Justin Fields? Blame pressure from Justin Fields. You want to blame Obama? Then blame Obama. But the point is, something stinks in suburbia. Our defensive backs have more catches in this game than our wide receivers do. The defense is giving you the ball time and time again in Missouri's side of the field, and you can't score a touchdown. The end of the first half, a minute and a half to go. Third and eight. We're driving. We run it up the middle. A give up play, you're thinking, oh well, Georgia gets the ball to start the second half, so they're just giving up. They're going to run it up the middle and then kick this field goal. Nope. Run it up the middle for no gain. <laughs> and then go for it on fourth down. Throw an incomplete pass, of course. But luckily, Missouri was off sides. Uh, so that gives us fourth and one. What do we do? We run up the middle with the smallest running back on our roster. We got four running backs. We're running running backs in and out of the game like a bunch of drunk gypsies. I mean, we can't leave a running back in a game for more than three plays. He's got to come out. We got to put somebody else in. Fourth and one, you run the smallest damn running back we have up the middle. You, you, you got a uh, you got a, a bowling ball in, in Holyfield, which, which is what he's best at, running into things, and you don't put him in on fourth and one. You you put Harry in, he he runs into a wall. You you turn it over. Uh, you know, give Missouri the ball back with a minute. Of course, they come out can't do anything because defense actually came to play football today. Minus the sacks, we still can't get any of those. We're still hiding that, I guess. <laughs> But play, but don't forget to tell me after this game that uh, shut up, Lou. We're four and zero. Oh. Don't forget to tell me.